when Alex started to say some really cool things that they like, sounds, words, you just start giving them treats. And they kind of kind of quickly pair up that when you get a treat for saying something, they start to offer that word, that sound even more. And then eventually you can put that in a cue. Most of Alex's cues are all just words, like one or two words. Like when I say name, Alexander. Alexander. <laughs> but when I just say name, that's not very exciting. But so here's what we do. We can fill that with other words, but he's only listening to that specific cue word. So I can say, what's your name? Alexander. Into the microphone, buddy. What's your name? Alexander. So, he's only hearing that one word name, but I can fill that with other words, and so it can be a whole sentence. So, that's how that all goes in a nutshell. Alright, so this microphone is new, so what we did to train him to talk directly in the microphone is whenever he would just naturally put his own beak up to the microphone, we start giving him treats. And then we kind of just shape that until the point where he only, we would only give him treats when he put his beak right into the microphone like that. And then we just started adding the cues and working on that. So. All right, that's how that kind of worked out in a quick, quick nutshell. All right, so Alex usually knows those three different things, a fairy tale or a walk around the zoo, like uh, when you go out to the Northern Trail, you might see some tigers, which are really just a big cat. Meow, <laughs> meow. Something like that. Or when you're walking around, uh, maybe the main lake of the zoo, you might see a wild mallard. <laughs> so with that, there's also, we want to keep those cues to a certain criteria along, just like with Bowie out earlier, all animals have to be up to a certain criteria. When I ask him for that mallard cue, he has to do five mallard sounds. If he doesn't do five, sometimes only does two or three, he normally do five, he only gets the treat for doing the whole five. And in a show setting, if he doesn't do all five sounds, of that mallard, we will probably just keep on going, he just won't get that treat. But if it's only like, if it's really, really short, like a really bad mallard sound, we'll ask for it again. So that's how that all works. But So I want to do something different this year, put a little different script together. And uh, it was really kind of fun working with Alex with that. He's really smart, okay? And uh, so when I started to put these different sounds together that they've never been put together before, Alex started to kind of, um, Predict. He tried to predict what sounds I was going to ask, and then he just kept offering these different sounds. So I just had to ignore that, wait for him to finish offering those sounds, and then try to ask uh, what I wanted. So it took just a lot of practice. With anything, with any training, it's a lot of practice over and over and over and over. So, all right, you guys want to hear what I came up with? Yeah. Okay, let's do this. All right, so pretend Alex just came out here. Alex, can you introduce yourself? Can you tell everyone your name? Alex. Very official, right? All right, and can you tell everyone hello? Hello? Yeah. How about in a deeper voice? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you say after hi? How are you? How are you doing? Quite. And then Alex usually gets started with a great big charge. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now that we got all the introductions out of the way, what I really want to talk about with Alex out here is what's going on outside. We're in the middle of winter. It's gotten cold, you definitely had that cold snap. You probably all caught a cold so far this winter, hopefully not, but you might have had to blow your nose. <laughs> well, my least favorite thing about winter is having to go outside and start my car. My car. <laughs> so my car sounds like in the winter, you guys know what I'm talking about. There are some really cool things about winter though, like football, all right, we had a great season if anybody bleeds purple like me. Football can be a lot of fun, because when you score a touchdown, you get to do a little dance. Yeah. <laughs> Another cool thing about uh, uh, winter in Minnesota, you might just happen to see a wild, snowy owl. <laughs> Another cool thing about winter is you guys are all in school. That's really cool, right? No, all right. Yeah, there we go, yes. All right, I bet a lot of you are taking some sort of math class. Uh, Alex actually does so, know some math himself. Check this out. We're going to start with a very easy math problem. Alex, what's one plus three? Four. Four. That's the right. 
All right, we're gonna try a harder one. All right, we're gonna go to subtraction this time. Alex, what's seven minus three? Impressive. Wow. I think some of you know what's going on though. Okay, we're gonna do one more division. This one's really hard. Alex, what's twelve divided by three? Four. Four. Amazing. All answers are four. That's because he really doesn't know math. He just knows whenever I say three. Four. So again, that's that cue. He's just listening for that one word, that three that I'm saying. All right, Alex. Yeah, I mentioned he knows about 40 different songs. This one is my favorite. Alex, can you blow everyone up? Yes? You did such a good job, Alex. Can you tell everyone? Goodbye. Bye. There it is, everybody. That was what I came up with. <laughs> Hello. You did a good job, Alex. All right, buddy.